of ways is like fighting a ghost because these younger ages we don't see as um, strong as symptoms. We don't see them getting very sick. The Knox County Health Department says it agrees with new CDC guidelines. The rules say everyone should wear masks in K-12 schools this fall. Tennis reporter Caitlin Keenahan explains what health leaders want parents to think about at the start of school. As kids go back to school, COVID-19 risk is on the rise. And often they're asymptomatic, but they can still carry the virus to another child or to a family member who may be at more risk. The CDC released guidelines on Tuesday, encouraging everyone vaccinated or not to wear masks in K through 12 schools. Now the Knox County Health Department is following suit. They're recommending that masks be worn in the school environment. That's of course what we recommend. But on top of masks, Knox County Health officials say there are other things you can do to keep your family safe. And it all starts with a conversation. The most important thing is, is that the parent talks with their child about what their expectations are. Things like using hand sanitizer when it's available, knowing to cough into their elbow, and not touching their eyes, nose, or mouth without clean hands. We've also found, though, that most kids, if you set the expectation and make it a thing, they follow those things pretty easily. Why is this all so important? It's in a lot of ways, it's like fighting a ghost because these younger ages, we don't see as um, strong as symptoms. We don't see them getting very sick. However, it can still spread from a child to their family, and that's what health officials want to avoid. And we know kids are kids, but really encouraging those things. In Knoxville, I'm Caitlin Keenahan. The Knox County Health Department says it's working on an agreement with Knox County Schools on how to contact trace students who are exposed to COVID-19. Knox County Schools told us last night they are not planning changes to their no mask policy at this time. This comes just two weeks out from the first day of school for Knox County. Right now, Tennessee is seeing a surge in COVID-19 cases over the past week. Here you go. Those are the numbers. The average number of new cases has jumped about 60%. This is where we want you to focus your eyes. Monday, we saw more than 2,000 new cases for the first time since February 10th, outside of an outlier in April there. Now, that also means the number of Tennesseans who currently have COVID-19 cases is up as well. You see, again, that uptick to the far left on the screen there. Active cases are at their highest point since early February and in a similar area to where we were this time last July. And that is why we are seeing new guidance from CDC. Counties in orange and red fall under the recommendations by the CDC. And you see that covers most of East Tennessee. And here's the recommendation. Mask up inside whether you have had the vaccine or not. Why? Well, those colors in red and orange show where transmission rates for the virus are up. The lone county where we're not seeing that yet is Granger County. Health leaders are encouraged by some other numbers we're seeing right now tied to the virus. I'm going to step out of the way and you see 39% of the state fully vaccinated during the last seven days. The state has seen a 40% jump in the number of people getting the first shot. That is a trend across most East Tennessee counties as well. And yesterday alone saw the single highest new vaccinations since May. Now with